Greetings, viewers. Now, you're probably watching this video for one of three different reasons. Number one, it ended up in your YouTube recommendations or on your YouTube subscription feed for whatever reason. Number two, you're here to troll my comment section. Or number three, you've got one of these HP laptops similar to this one. In this case, we have an HP EliteBook 8460W. That is locked with a BIOS password, and you have no idea what that password is. I can tell you right now this video is going to be useless if you fall under viewer category number one or number two. If you want to keep watching, please do. It helps me out. But otherwise, don't waste your time. But for those of you who have one of these laptops and are trying to erase the BIOS password, I'm going to do that right here on this video and take you through the process, as I understand it anyway. Again, I'll probably have some trolls in my comment section, well why don't you just pull the battery out? That will not help you. And here's why it won't help you. This is a business grade laptop. Now if this were a consumer grade HP Pavilion from I don't really care where, there's a good chance that it might actually help you. Because on those, they don't have the same kind of security that a business grade laptop like this does. But this is a business grade laptop. You run into the same problem with a ThinkPad. Or a Dell business grade laptop. The password is stored someplace else in the system. Exactly where, don't know, don't really care. But when you pull the battery, that particular setting is not erased. In fact, the battery in this system is completely dead, and yet here we are with a BIOS password. So, here's what we're going to do. Turn that off. I've prepared a USB stick with the HPBR utility, Hewlett Packard BIOS Reset, that is available. You could probably do a web search for it. I'll also put a link to it in the video description. And that is the tool that I'm going to use. Now, warnings! The HPBR tool is not an official HP tool. It could royally screw things up. You're playing around with a BIOS. Recovery options may or may not exist. So unless you know what you're doing and you're willing to take the risks and you're not willing to blame the risks on me, CP666, making this video, then don't proceed. Have a professional do it. Now, the USB stick that you grab doesn't need to be particularly fancy. This happens to be a one gigabyte USB stick, so it's very much not fancy. Before you even plug that into the computer and turn it on, you need to pull the hard drive. Now, whether or not you need to pull the hard drive, I don't know. The instructions that I was reading said pull the hard drive. So that is precisely what we're going to do. You pull the bottom panel off, undo that latch, pull it off, pop up this little door here, get that out of the way. A couple of screws, in fact, this one's already loose. And just pull it out. Don't know what happens if you leave it in, but hey, the instructions say to pull it out, so you might as well pull it out. Okay, put the covers back on, and here we are. Laptop with no hard drive. I plugged in the USB stick. Don't know if it matters which USB port you plug it into, but I've plugged it into the one here that's marked with USB charging and is also a USB 2.0 port. I've had some issues in the past with USB booting and the USB 3.0 ports, so that's what we're going to do. Power it on, and since we've pulled the hard drive, this should boot up to the USB stick, just like that. So, now we've booted to this. We want to hit CD that HP HPVR. What we want to do, reprogram. So, there's all our junk that we've got here. S to save the information. Okay, now we want to run the tool again, HPBR. This time we're going to select first run. Now we select our model from this long list of models, so this will work for basically any of these that show up here. 
our model is an Elite Book 8460W. So let's see if we can find it. All right, back up a little bit. So we have this list of all these different models, and we have just determined that our model is not on this list. We have an 8460P, which is pretty close to this 8460W. So I'm going to take a shot in the dark, and I'm going to select that one. Press any key to reboot the system, then press F9 to boot back to USB. Okay, turned off. It's back on. Uh. Enter to continue startup, F9. I want to boot to the USB. We will CD back out, and HP, I can never type that right, HPBR once again. This is the second run. And again, we have the same 23 options. 8460P is the closest one that we've got. Now it says done. So, let's reboot again. Remove the USB. And looks promising. Boot it up without an error message. So we'll control alt delete. We'll hit escape. F10. Now look at that. Sweet. No more BIOS password, folks. And it still thinks that it's an 8460W, which is exactly what it is. So it worked just fine. And that is the easy process for erasing a BIOS password on one of these HP EliteBook 8460Ws, or I suppose any one of those other machines that happen to show up. Thank you for watching, and if you happen to have any comments, feel free to leave them down below.